Hello everyone, what's up? This is Pawan from Coding Solution. Welcome to my fourth decision and loop programming tutorial. In this video, I will be creating a C program to just find the roots of a quadratic equation. Well, many of you might be knowing about the quadratic equation. So, in this, I will be just calculating the roots of that equation. So, let's start off my coding in the similar ways. Just add a new file. Just click yes, program 4. Okay, program 4.c. So, to start off in the similar way, C program to find the roots of quadratic equation okay. and the date is 22.05.2015 and about the author power. Okay. So before starting it uh, let me tell you something about the quadratic equation. Suppose you want to find the roots of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, c are coefficients. So this program will be asking the coefficients from the user that is a, b, c and then displays the roots. So let me start off the coding from here only. One thing I would like to tell you from that is I will be using an inbuilt library function called is sqrt that is to calculate the square root of any value okay so uh, for that we will be using the header file math.h so let me start off the coding from here only hash include stdio.h standard input output and then again include hash include math.h okay so this library file will be containing the definition of the sqrt function okay square root so let me just simply start from here only so from the coding int main and let's take the values as float float a b and c and as you all know, while solving the equation, quadratic equation, we need to calculate the determinants. Okay. So, take a determinant variable and the roots. Whenever we will be solving the two degree equation, we will be getting the two roots. Okay. So, R1, comma R2. Okay. And the third part would be, which will be containing the real part of the root and imaginary part suppose we will be calculating suppose the determinant comes out less that is less than zero then we need to take the root as the combination in a complex form okay combination of real part and the combination of imaginary part so just print a function enter the coefficient Coefficients a, b, and c. Okay, so use the inbuilt library function scanf percentile f percentile percentile f. Okay, simply and percent a comma and percent b comma and percent c. Okay, so. The formula for the discriminant is b square minus 4ac. So discriminant or sorry the determinant. Determinant equals b square. So for b square we will be just simply using b asterisk b minus 4 into a into c. Okay. So the first case if our determinant comes out greater than zero determinant comes out greater than zero then we will be just calculating the roots as r1 equals bracket 
minus b plus s q r t here we'll be using the s q r t function A square root determinant and divided by 2 a okay just simply place 2 asterisk a so this was the first part and the root 2 will be r2 equals minus b minus s q r t and determinant determinant divided by 2 asterisk a okay and simply then print print f the roots of the equation are roots of the equation are percent f and percent f okay so comma r1 comma r2 the next part for the else else if determinant double equals zero so we need to simply print the message r1 equals r2 because if the determinant comes out to be zero then the roots are equal and it's r minus b divided by 2 asterisk a okay printf roots are just simply use this I can copy it off just to save some time control C and control V control Z control C and control V okay else if else now the third case is the root comes out to be negative then the real part equals the variable which we have defined above real equals minus b by 2 asterisk sorry asterisk a and imaginary equals sqrt determinant minus determinant upon or I should say divide 2 into a printf roots r roots r percent f plus percent f i and percent f minus percent f i comma real comma imaginary okay so give the return statement return zero so here it is so this was the program just to calculate the roots of the equation so let me run this program for you first of all I need to remove my previous file from the sources folder remove the file from project and then again build and run so Enter the coefficients of a and b. So let me enter 2.34 and 5.6. Okay. So roots of the equation are 
minus this 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 plus this i so in this case the determinants comes out to be less than zero what it's happening just uh, will be we are getting uh, too much amount of zeros so just to restrict those let me do something so in this case point 2 what I'm doing I'm just restricting the values to the two decimal places only point 2 and point 2 so let me run this again for you run so enter the values 2.3 and then 4 and then 5.6 so what it happened is it gives the output as this okay so let me run this again for you output 2 run so enter the coefficients so 4 0 or either I should say take it as 1 okay and 0 so roots of the equation are 0 0 0 and minus 0.25 so this was the thing Basically what we have used here is we have taken three coefficients of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equals zero and a determinant we have calculated the determinant from these and we have the two roots r1 and r2 and another root uh, when the case comes out to be uh, where the determinant is less than zero we will be using the real part and the imaginary part. So we have checked it firstly from here that if the determinant comes out to be zero greater than zero then we will be executing this part else if determinant double equals zero then the roots of the equation are equal and in the final case if the determinant is less than zero then this part will be calculated so hope you have guys liked it uh, any query do comment like and subscribe you can connect to us uh, through our facebook page so that was all about my program and thank you have a nice day